Hello, this is Robert from Beyond 20. Today we're in Sherwell version 9.5 with more than 150 different updates, fixes, and other various enhancements. We're going to take a look at a couple of those today. First you'll notice when you log in, there's actually the environment listed now in Sherwell. It's going to show either production, test, or development. Now if this isn't set or you're just now upgrading Sherwell to 9.5 for the first time, you're going to see a prompt during the upgrade process that asks you which environment are we upgrading. Once we log in, we can actually set the environment name to appear on our title bar. So let me get logged in. We'll get the dashboard loaded. So if I go to the Tools and then Options menu, go to the Display tab, I can display my connection information, which includes the connection name database name, environment name, or a combination of those three. So you'll notice right now I have the environment name listed, so it show, shows production environment up at the top. There's also been a few other various enhancements through the GUI or user interface. Um, the related item picker, going to a related item, matrix control icons, uh, these have all been updated. If we pull up a ticket here, we can see the new related item picker. We view the record, bring up the manager. We can also go to Henry's record directly. So it works exactly the same, just a few updates on the user interface there. You also see that we've added a few objects. We have a site and a building object now. So site and building uh, basically enables managers to have relationships and manage sites and buildings as they relate to customers, configuration items, or if we wanted to roll this out to other business objects. Here's a quick preview of the site, and then let's go to a building. And here's our new building object. So on top of the client enhancements, there's been a lot of updates on the browser side as well. Um, user interface updates for better rendering, there's been increased loading performance for bar, column, line, and scatter chart widgets, so that's going to help with dashboards. We've added the, the ability to scan barcodes and perform searches directly in the browser, as well as updates for the text editor. So some pretty big enhancements across the board. Um, there's even been some updates on the security side for any folks running Redis. Uh, there's been some performance for changing web session storage methods. Um, there's also been some updates to help prevent cross-site scripting attacks. Um, if I jump over here to the administration side, and I get into a new blueprint, you actually see there's some additional managers as well, uh, such as the business hours, email and event monitoring, reports, and then we also have the stored definition imports. So these are now available directly through the manager's menu and can be added to blueprints or maps. Another great item, if you take a look at the one-step process, we have the ability to do trusted agents now. So you'll see there's a few different options under the common, common actions for print, run a program, run a report, write to a file, transfer attachments, Excel merge, call a web service. So we can call a web service directly through trusted agents. If you take a look at the bottom, and if I have trusted agents configured on the Sharewell server, I have another option here to use trusted agents. So this will actually call the web service through the trusted agent. So 9.5 is loaded with lots of new features and updates. Uh, this is just a couple of them. We have other videos diving into a little bit more of the details, so please be sure to check out our YouTube channel for other 9.5 tips and tricks. Thank you.